Hi, I'm Patrick and this is the Mach-E Vlog. Today we're going to take a look at a portable charger from Lectron and this one is cool because it's level one and level two. So let's get started. If you watch one of our previous videos, we actually reviewed this, which is the Tesla, the J1772 adapter that we've actually used a couple of times. Very useful. I like the brand Electron because I like this device, but they also sent us this to review and it's the level one slash level two portable charger. So let's take a look at it and talk about it a little bit. Like on the back, it says some of the basic stuff. The key is that it'll operate between negative 22 and 122 degrees. It's a uh, up to 16 amps on level one and up to 32 amps on level two and has a 21 foot cable, which is very nice uh, for using like a portable charger because sometimes like you'll visit a friend's house, you need uh, quite a bit of length to get your car plugged in. I've already opened this up, but I'll show you guys. One of the things I really like about this is it comes in a really nice case. Get rid of the box. And what I normally do is when we are traveling is like we'll take this and can just keep it up front, but it makes it like really nice that it's a little portable thing. So when I don't need it, I can like throw it in the garage or whatever. So we'll take a look, we'll open it up. Nice little Electron logo here. And then there we go. So pretty basic. It has the regular level one plug, as well as here's the level two plug. So let's take a look. I'll unwrap everything real quick. Okay, so unwrapped everything. Let's take a look. There's a couple of straps to keep it all organized. Here are the two cables again. Just so you know, like if you were curious, like if this would fit on the, the Ford portable charger, this part is different, so it would not fit. But uh, overall, seems like a fairly sturdy connection. On the back, it has uh, basically a label that shows you like if there's any errors or anything like that, it tells you what the, the lights mean. So hopefully we won't have any errors. We just wanna get this thing plugged in and charging. Um, has a little protective cover for the J1772. Decent little latch to lock onto the car. Um, and of course the indicator lights on the front like I was talking about and a fairly decent cable length. And what we're gonna to try to do is we're gonna plug it in inside the garage and charge it out here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a level one plug in. And uh, the idea is like, I'm gonna plug this in for an hour, see how many miles of range we add. Should be about three miles and that's about it. So we're at 190 miles of range. I'm gonna plug that in. There's a stork behind you. Whoa. <laughs> Did I couldn't you? help it. I got it landed. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Like I'm trying to trying to focus on a charger here, and we get a stork landing behind us. So, um, anyways, let me let me take this out. We can leave that here, and I'm gonna plug in. I think this is the best cable or best location here. We're gonna see how this works. Okay, I moved the car over because that was going to be, I could make it reach, but it would have just been like going across the hood. But we're at that 190 miles of range. Let's plug in and I'm marking the time now. It's 149. We'll check back in an hour and see how many miles of range we added. So let's just wait. Okay, it's been one hour. We've been charging on the 110 level one and I just checked the car. It got three miles of range in that one hour. So perfect. I figured uh, most of the time it's like three to four miles of range per hour on level one. So now let's switch to level two and see what we can get in one hour on level two at 32 amps going into the car. Okay, so to switch over to level two, I need to pull this one out the 110 level one uh, plug and then now I'll plug in the NEMA 1450 
plug it into my NEMA 1450 outlet. Green lights. Cable feels fairly good and flexible. Of course, it's a nice temperature. It's about 69 degrees. I don't have any cold temperatures and I'm not going to put it in the freezer. Um, but now we're plugged in. It's now three o'clock. So we'll give it an hour and we're at uh, 193 miles of range. We'll see what we get in one hour. Okay, we just hit an hour. Uh, the lights are still going. It's doing what they call marquee. It's basically one after the other. Cycling like that, that means it's charging. Let me go over here to the car. And good news is we got 19 miles of range in the past hour. So that's actually pretty good on the 32 amp charger. So really happy with that. And let's go ahead and unplug. And that is a success if you ask me. Let me cover that back up. We'll put the cable out of the way. Nothing's feeling like hot or warm or anything. I've, I've touched it while it was charging all over. Nothing's warm. This, this little bit of cable, a little bit warmer than the ambient temperature and right down here, um, the unit is a little bit warm, but nothing like very, very hot or anything like that. Just a little bit warm to the touch. Now it's three green lights, which is an indicator that it's ready to charge again. Now this is a portable charger, so it doesn't have any type of cable management or anything. It does come with that nice case to, to carry it. Just don't bunk yourself in the nose. Um, but overall, I like this little unit. It's quite a bit smaller than the one that comes with the Mach-E, but this is a really nice option with the carrying case to be able to like carry it in the car, um, and have something that like is a, a nice like hard cover case. The, the Mach-E one comes with like a soft cover case. This one has like a hard cover case and it's a bit smaller. Now you may only think you need the level two or the level one plug. I like carrying both because you never know if you have some type of emergency. Of course, level one is gonna give you much of a charge, but if you need it, you need it. And uh, level two is, it's really nice to have. 32 amps, of course, you can go uh, quite a bit higher in a lot of EVs, including the Mach-E, but uh, 32 amps will get you a decent amount of range. 19 uh, on the Mach-E per hour is what we got. So very happy with that. And uh, I think we're gonna be carrying this with us on all of our road trips. Okay, now let's see if we can actually get this back in the case. Uh, I put my 110 connector there. Let's take out the 240 NEMA 1450 plug. Let's stick that over here. Now the key is, can I wind this back up basically? small enough to fit in the case because the case is nice to have but if you can't fit it back in it's sort of worthless but it's looking pretty good so far and i could probably do this a little bit more elegantly i'm gonna leave that out I think we'll do it like that. Don't want to bend things too much. Um, and I could probably flip things around or whatever, but for a quick and easy, let's just put this back in. I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, we got a lot of bulk down here. So let me put this and actually just do like that, just to make sure I can close it easy. Zip it all the way up. Nice and easy and ready to be stowed in the front, along with our trusty Tesla adapter from Electron as well. So, and if you want, we did do a video on the Electron Tesla to J1772 adapter. I don't know if I mentioned that in the beginning, uh, that we have a link that we'll put above and in the description. Both of these will be uh, available. Uh, we'll put a, a link to their 
Electron page as well as they're available on Amazon for delivery. So we'll include those down below. But overall, I really like this uh, portable charger. Very nice self-contained thing. Works for any J1772 car, which is pretty much all of them except for Tesla. And the Teslas, you can get an adapter to use that as well. So really nice portable solution to carry around with you. So it was really cool being able to charge. And I do want to note, like we normally don't charge during the day. We just had our solar system installed this past week. It was activated. So it was sort of cool. Like we were charging mostly from the sun to do this charging test. Uh, if you want to find out more about our journey on solar, check the description. We'll have a link down there for that as well. We're going to do some more videos describing like how we went through the process of getting solar and then some of the other cool stuff and how to manage your charging so that you can pull from the sun instead of from the grid. Some very cool stuff coming up, but stay tuned for more road trips where we'll actually show this in use at some point in the future. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you for watching this video all the way through where we reviewed the Electron level one and level two charger. If there's other products that you want us to take a look at, please let us know. Like we're willing to try to get them, test them out so that you don't have to buy them and spend your hard earned money on it. We'll test them out, let you know what we really think. And we'll, as always, like if there's any updates to this video, we'll post them down in the description. So always check through the description in case there's any little notes or anything that we left out or anything like that. But anyways, just want to say whatever you drive, however you charge it, enjoy the ride. Bye.